Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create Discord.js buttons. It's a new update, just got released yesterday. So I'll be showing you how to do it today with an easy way. So let's hope into the video. Alright, so hopefully I'll be the first one uploading the video, or this video I mean. Uh, so, as you can see, I'll, uh, there is some stuff I'm gonna be using. We can fetch directly uh, from the API, but I will not do that. I will use a package because it, it's gonna make it easier for viewers or for you to understand what is going on, basically, alright? So, uh... I'll be leaving all the, those links in the description because we're going to use them today. They all have explanations. So let me show you how buttons look like uh, somewhere here. Yep, as you can see, the, that's how buttons look like. So uh, let's hope directly into this. So I need to download this package or install it. We'll put npm i uh, discord dash buttons. Will be difficult to link for it in the description. After you do that, you're gonna go to your index, the main file, and you're gonna put uh, require without const or anything. Just require discord buttons. And here you put your client, alright? Your discord.js client. It's like this. Do you see? I have it as client with a capital C, I put it here as client with a capital C. Alright, let me just go like that. Alright, so, uh, the documentation have it like this over here. Uh, so let's try it, basically, I'm gonna just create a new full, uh, file here, I'm gonna name it smart, I got an idea in my mind, alright. Also, using buttons, you can uh, can do a lot. All right, you can like create a button collector for people who like making games. This will be like neat for them. All right, you can await buttons. You can make like, normal interaction by clicking on the button and send buttons. Anything you like. All right. So let's start putting this. Let's put here smart. So first, I want to require uh, the buttons, all right? So let me show you Discord buttons, all right? So you know message embed is basically the same. It will just be named message button, all right? Message button, all right? So here, I'm gonna first create an embed, all right? const embed equal new discord dot message embed normal embed all right the set title uh are you smart all right are you smart and then set color to blue all right so I want to create two buttons, one saying yes, one saying no. And the yes will be green and the no will be red. So I'm gonna put const uh, button one or yes, let's say yes, equal new message button. Neat. Now let's put set style. Let me show you now in, the, in here. Uh, send button, I wonder if this is over here or message button here all right here you can see it it has everything dot style dot style uh, decide which one will be blur pool for this so set style blur pool like blur blur pool i don't know if i type that right bro uh, uh, i don't know how to say that all right you can just say blur pool this all right blur pool and this is uh, green Gray, red, and URL and emoji. You can just put here green, 
gray URL, all right? So the right one, yes, I want it to be green. Now set label, all right? Let's go here back. Label is basically the label of the uh, button, like what is the content of it? So I'm gonna put it here, yes. And lastly, I just want to put here the ID. Each button has an ID to define it, all right? So I'm gonna put here smart as a, as a ID, all right? And now I want to create the uh, other one that is no equal new message button, all right? The set style, I want it to be red, all right? And then label is gonna be no, all right? And finally, set ID is gonna be a dumbass, basically, all right? So now I want to send this. So I'm gonna put message dot channel dot send. Um, what should I send? Hello. All right. And then I want to put here comma brackets. All right. So let's see how this is gonna be. Let me go here. Scroll down. All right. So if I want to send only one button, I will just put like this look i will just make it like this if i want to send any button and here is the button name all right if i want to send uh, multiple buttons i will put like this all right and i'll put here buttons with an s all right and two points and this and i'll put here the name of the buttons all right if i want to send buttons with an embed and that's what we're gonna do let me first put the buttons name so it's yes comma no all right now i'm gonna put a comma here and i'll put embeds all right but here if i want to send multiple embeds i'll put embeds do like that the same way embed one embed two all right but i want to send only one embed all right so i'm gonna gonna be embed not embeds basic english and without this i'll just put here directly the name of the embed Let's now try it. All right, no dot. Perfect. I'm gonna put here smart. Yep. As you can see, it says or smart. Now, if I pressed on any of those, it's gonna send interaction failed, basically. All right, as you can see, inter the in this interaction is failed. So to not do that, or to like make it work basically because we didn't make it work yet. So to make it work, I need to go to the here, all right, npm package and the button handler, all right. So that's how it looked like. It's basically an event. You get this event, event once you uh, like install the package. So let me put the event over here, all right. Look up, see for me. Is the event called click button the parameter is button so here if button ID is equal equal to the ID remember when I said set ID each one have a ID for himself so this one is smart let's first do the dumbass first all right like that so if it is like that so gonna be button dot channel dot send normally and you're gonna be button dot clicker. That's how you get the person. Let me show you in the uh, documentation. Uh, where is it? Click button. Yup, over here. You can see clicker, channel ID, uh, everything. Like you can get everything from here. Uh, and we want just the clicker, the button clicker. All right, user or member. So. Uh, I'm gonna say here the clicker is basically a dumbass. So, because he said no. Alright. Oops, this should be like that. Is a dumbass. Alright. Now let's try to now press on the no button. Alright, here. Alright, it's kind of lagging, so I'm gonna put here smart. 
okay, yes, it will not work within set yes, so only no. If I press on no, as you can see. And to prevent from it to do that, I'm gonna just put here button dot defer. Alright, now let's try it. Smart. Oops, bot isn't online yet. Let's try it again. Alright, no. Alright, it worked. And now it says Ultra X is okay. Let's just keep it at this part. Anyways, now I want to put the other one basically. So I'm gonna put here button.id. If the button.id is equal, equal to smart, I want to first button.defair. Alright. And then I want to do something. I want this to be edited to another embed with another with other buttons. Alright, I guess that's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do like this. Look. I'm gonna first create the uh, embed. I'm gonna do const embed equal uh, new discord of message embed. Alright. And then I'll put the set uh, title neat. Alright. And set description. Now subs or now press on the button below. Alright, and set color to green. That's a normal embed. Now I want to create the button that will have the channel URL, mine. Alright, so I'm gonna just name it sub equal new. And I actually need to define it here because I didn't define it. So I'm gonna just put here message button. Oops equal require discord buttons all right so equal message button the set style is gonna be url so i'm gonna put here url set label i'm gonna be subscribe and set url is gonna be my channel's url so i'm gonna just put like that all right so now I'm gonna just do button dot message dot edit and as I said I'm gonna just put here those say button alright is going to be the only button because as I said there is only one button so button is going to be sub alright comma with the one embed so it's gonna be embed embed the name of the embed here alright so now let's try it. Should be like working normally. All right. So smart. All right. If I press now on yes, should edit it. As you can see, it did. Edit it. Now press on the button below. If I pressed, it gonna take me to my channel. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao!